Hi guys, sorry about that. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the law of attraction um, because so many people um, are looking into that and want to practice that and they want to get an ex back or they want to get money back and it just isn't working out for them. So why isn't it working out for you? Um, I used to watch so many videos on this myself and until it really clicks with you, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I want to try and explain it in a way that helped me. Um, and I'm doing it this way because I had a comment last time that my life is so perfect. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm just trying the same as you guys. And um, that's why I always comment back. And I want you guys to know that I'm relatable. Um, I want you to know that I'm available to talk. Um, it's not anybody else doing my emails. It's not anybody else doing my commenting on my Insta. It's me because I think that's what you signed up for, right? Um, you signed up for me, not somebody's assistant or anything like that. Um, you know, like, why would I want to talk to your assistant? Why would I want a reading from your assistant? You know, I just, I don't get it anyway. Um, so yeah. So you've probably heard um, such things as fake it till you make it or um, I don't ed edit my videos either. So you just get me. I'm just me. And, you know, if I make a mistake, we all do. It's to learn from it. Um, so, yeah, you've probably heard things like act as if or fake it till you make it, you know, and I heard that and I was like, okay, I'm going to fake it. I'm, you know, um, but nothing was coming about. Um, and when people hear the concept of letting go, it can be like terrifying. I don't want to let go of him. I don't want to let go of her. You know, that's the whole thing. I want to attract them. Why would I let go of them? And it just wasn't sitting right with me. I it just, it wasn't for me that way of explaining it. It probably was for so many other people, but for me, it wasn't, um, it just wasn't clicking. And so I want to call it prepare for abundance. Um, so how do you prepare for abundance? So, you know, they say there's all this money available in the world for everybody. So don't think in lack. Okay. I kind of get that. I'm not thinking in lack. I'm thinking um, I want to attract this money or an ex-lover. Okay, got it. Um, so in every moment, there's an opportunity for desire to be born um, within you. So what is it you desire? Really, what is it that you desire? Um, is it an ex-lover? Is it money? Um, just general abundance and happiness. Um, so, okay, the desire is born. You know what it is you want. So the desire is like a fleeting moment. So in that fleeting moment, um, you know, we have this high vibration of something we want. So that's good. That's positive. Um, we realise what it is we desire. We manifest with our desires. Um yeah, manifest, law of attraction, all more or less the same words. So, yeah, in that moment, we manifest, you know, um, but then we hardly ever follow through with the action. Um, we start to reason with ourselves why we actually want what we want. So I want a love in my life because I want to be happy. I want to be loved. So already you're starting to bring in the lack, um, you know, and this is what will stay with you longer. Um, so you're starting to create two different vibrational um, levels here that are going to like interact within you and create a resistance for whatever it is you desire coming in. So. You, you are saying, okay, <clears throat> I want an ex-lover back um, because he, she made me happy. Um, my reason is because I'm sad without them. So now you can see where we go in here, you know, 
lack. We're manifesting from lack and a lower vibration of we don't have, we want is like we don't have. Um, so, and that starts, that stays with us a long time. You focus more on that I don't have and I want. Still the same thing. It means you don't have it yet. Um, so that stays with us longer. And this is why we say be careful with your words, you know. Words are, um, words become every sort of, we can say that um, your word is your wand. So, you know, you're manifesting. I think um, Jesus said that, you know, um, speak on what you want and it shall happen. So if you're speaking on, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have, then it's, from a place of lack, you know? Um, so, preparing for abundance. I don't want to keep going on that because I don't want to put these lack thoughts in your mind. So, let's move on to preparing to receive abundance, what my video is about. <clears throat> so, prepare for abundance. So, how would you prepare for abundance? So, if you find out you're pregnant or expecting your wife, girlfriend is expecting a baby, would you buy the baby bed, clothes, food on the ninth or the 10th month? No, <clears throat> you start preparing before it comes because you know it's coming. So you want to do that. For example, if you say, I want to get married, the very simple thing to do is put a jar put wedding on it and put your spare change in it. I said, this is for when I get married. You know, I'm getting married. I need to save my money here. Um, weddings cost a lot. So I'm going to save my money. I'm going to put money aside each time. I've got spare change in my pocket. So it's taking the action. You know, because we've got, when the desire is born, we've then got to take the action. Um, action is very important because a lot of people, they have the desire, but they never follow through with the action. So, for example, when um, a father impregnates the mother, um, he doesn't say, oh, my God, you're a week pregnant. Show me the baby or it doesn't exist. So when you are asking for what you've manifest to be shown to you immediately, in this scenario, we can see, well, the baby needs to grow so does your desire. It doesn't mean that it's not coming. You know, you just have to follow through with action. So like I said, a simple jar, or if you want a lover to come back into your life or a lover to come into your life, <clears throat> you could clear out a drawer, make space in the wardrobe for them. You know, follow through with the action. Maybe stop texting your girlfriends or guy friends all night long like I want somebody maybe stop texting them for an hour and make space because ah, oh, right now I'd be spending this time with my partner so I'm not going to feed all my time and fill up all my time especially with lack saying you know I want somebody in my life make space for them move the remote from their side of the bed so you might think oh well it's crazy because they're not here yet oh they don't they're not in my life I don't know them no, it's not crazy. We're following through with action. Like I say, when we're going to prepare for a baby to come into the world, we don't say to the baby, show yourself immediately or I don't believe you're there. Or a seed that's planted. You know, you plant a seed. Um, you've got to cover it with the soil. You don't go to it. I demand you show me that you're a carrot right now or I don't believe that you're a carrot because you know it's coming. There's time, it has to grow. So your desire is manifesting into your life, but it just needs time to grow. And it needs you to follow through with the actions. So if we're speaking on something like, I'm saving for my wedding, and then it becomes a habit that you're saving for your we uh, wedding, you know, then those actions become habits. Your habits become your life. So for example, like when I said, I'm going to be a YouTuber. The, in one instant, 
the desire was born. But I had to take action. So I posted my first video and, um, you know, it got views. And I said, I'm a YouTuber, but I'm taking action. I'm putting the videos out there. I'm speaking on it. Um, I'm making it a habit to put videos out there. And then the universe responds by getting people to um, maybe subscribe to my channel or watch my videos. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, preparing for abundance, like we would prepare for a baby or even just like preparing for a visitor um, if you want somebody to come into your life. So I get it. You can look into your bank and say, well, there's 43 cents or 43 pence or 43 rupees, whatever your currency may be. And you're like, well, I don't have the money. The reality you're seeing is telling you logically, um, I just don't have the money. But acting as if preparing for abundance. OK, well, I'm going to um, be buying this in the future. So speaking on this first, I'm going to be I'm going to buy that. Um, I'm going to look for this car because I know um, I'm buying this car. You know, if you want to attract a car into your life, just anything, you can use it with anything. Um, I'm just giving you examples here. So, yeah, preparing for this abundance, making space in your life for this abundance without falling back into this feeling or lack approach. Because another example, if you are watching my videos and I do videos about different star signs. So if you are watching an ex-partner's video, for example, Libra, and you're a Scorpio, let's say. So you're watching your ex's video and you write a comment that says, I am not interested in my ex. But deep down inside, you're interested in your ex and Oh, why would you be watching it? No shade. It's just like, why would you be watching this video if you wasn't somewhere interested? So I feel like, first of all, sit with yourself. Go out in nature, sit in a park, just some quiet time. Sit with yourself and actually allow yourself and your desires to be born. There's an opportunity, even in this moment, in this video, while you're watching this, it may something may come to your mind like, I don't want my ex. I just want to improve myself. Right. So follow through. Talk about I'm improving myself. I'm improved. You know, when somebody speaks to you and they say, hey, what's going on with you? What's good? I'm improved. Um, it's just how you speak on things like, OK, I'm this divine being and I've got all these powers. I can just click my fingers and I get all this cash in the world. The person might look at you like, Okay, you're crazy. <laughs> but just speaking with so much confidence that it's already happened will be the change that you um, will find is immediate. Yeah, just by speaking it because then the words become habit. So you start to do it without even thinking about it. You know, just as we have learned to speak on lack the same way, you know, just changing that thinking of positive. Um, will do so much. So, yeah, okay. So, you know, if you're watching your ex's video and you are typing out these words or saying out these words in such an angry way because maybe your ex hurt you, maybe they left you for somebody else, maybe they just don't want to be with you right now, okay? We all have free will. So, You're watching your ex's video and you want your ex back. But you're speaking so negatively about it. Oh, I haven't seen my ex come back yet. You are manifesting from a place of anger more than love. OK, so it's still a lower vibration because your higher self 
may be wanting the same as you, wanting your ex to come back into your life for whatever reason, um, and your higher self wants to manifest on a higher vibration. But your outer being is still angry. So, you know, and your outer being is the one that's voicing louder your opinion and your desire. So if you're shouting to the world, to the universe, I don't want my ex back and you're manifesting and allowing this anger to grow in you, then what we see is it not manifesting for you. And then you sort of lose faith and lose hope and starts going down and down like I've tried everything, it's not working. It's got to start with you. If you're angry more than filling with love, that's why I say love yourself first. First and foremost, love yourself first. Then, you know, it's just the same as coming from a place of lack. You know, um, it's just exactly the same. You're doing it from a lower frequency and um, your higher being is doing it from a higher frequency. So you're creating resistance in this thing being able to come into you. OK, but you've got to remember as well, you know, um, other people have free will. So you should try manifesting what's best for your higher self and, um, you know, manifesting happiness and joy for yourself. And um, don't matter where you get it from, if you do want to manifest more money, great. T technique I use for manifesting more money, um, the penny technique. So... If you find a penny, you pick it up, you celebrate it. So I was walking to the shop one day and I seen this penny on the floor and I was just like, I seen this video and it was about celebrating, just being happy, just being joyous, coming from a happy place. So it started within that moment for me, like, I found a penny. Wow, I can't believe it. Even if it felt really fake the first time you're doing it, it becomes habit and it becomes natural to you. Like, wow, I've, re I've got this penny. I just got it for free. It's here. The world is abundant. You know, there's enough for everybody in the world. <sighs> so I came home from the shop. And I pulled out an old pair of jeans and I was looking at them and thinking, I put my hand in the pocket and I found five pound. And I was like, wow, I found five pound. And it was like a little bit more genuine the second time around because I'd already done it. So I was still, I went overboard about it. And um, yeah, so a little later in the day, I found 15 pound. Now they sound like small amounts, but you've got to start somewhere because like the baby scenario or the seed, something is growing and you know it's coming. So when you have that feeling that you know it's coming, you can speak with that confidence that, wow, I live an amazing life. If you just, you know, wow, I do. I live an amazing life. I'm so blessed. I just, everything comes so easy for me. You know, just saying it. Um, maybe just say it to yourself in the mirror. Just practice it. You know, um, it doesn't have to be like I was doing, like a great show in the street. People probably thought, wow, she's crazy. People probably thought that before. I'm a Scorpio. So they probably thought I was crazy way before celebrating 1P in the street. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just can't do it. So it's really just trusting and believing in that absolute knowing the fake it till you make it <laughs> and you know that act as if um i prepared for abundance i'm abundant you know i think adele says it best um count your blessings to find what you look for um one of my favorite songs rolling in the deep um and Funny enough, this song really got like I'd listen to it and I'd sing along to it and it had raised my vibrations and it was empowering to me. And um, I just really started believing it. I was like, I've turned my sorrow into treasured gold. And I'm a millionaire. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> but I'm a millionaire. I'm a multimillionaire. I have more money than Kim Kardashian. 
So, yeah, you see, um, just like the positivity, you want to align your outer self with your inner self and be on the same frequency and it will manifest so much quicker. I'm just like, oh, I've got so much money. I don't even know what to do with it. I haven't. <laughs> but, you know, um, it's just that. It really is that simple. Make a space for somebody in your life. If you want somebody in your life, make space for them. Don't be sitting on Facebook all night. You know, maybe put the phone down. Maybe even have a fake conversation with somebody, anybody. Maybe get out in the real world, take action and go dating. Because like me, you're like, oh, well, I ain't got nobody. But um, don't really take any action to find anybody. And Jupiter will come in and give you this expansion and whatever you're thinking about will grow. So if you're thinking about this lack and, you know, it expands in you, like for me, I got fatter. <laughs> But it also expanded, um, let's say, my subscribers. And um, and I love my subscribers. That they're, they're the best. I don't care what anybody else says on YouTube. Mine are the best. I just know it. Um, they're so loving. They're so high in spirit. They're high vibrations. They're just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, anything else I was going to say? It's really letting go of illusion maya so you know i explained to somebody um like it being a vr headset a virtual reality headset and where souls sat there playing this virtual game oops sorry um yeah so we sat there playing this virtual game and um you know we we feel like we have nothing but it's just an illusion that you have nothing. You have everything at hand to come into play to help you on this journey. You know, so prepare for everything you've ever desired to come into your life. Because it's coming. That's why they tell you, be careful what you wish for, because it's coming. So let me ask you, what do you truly desire? I mean, I've done everything. I've done the talking to water. I've done the law of attraction videos. What is it you truly desire? If you was at your happiest right now, in your highest vibration, what would you wish for? Don't say world peace. This is not like a Miss World competition. You know, it's for you. You make the world a better place by being you, by being happier. It's like people will say, I'm a light worker or I'm a starseed child and things like that. So what does that mean? A light worker is somebody to help bring somebody to the light. Okay, so you help people to bring people to the light. Everybody does that. Everybody helps somebody to wake up. I bet most of you had your spiritual awakening from somebody who wasn't so nice because spiritual awakenings are never that nice um so yeah everybody is a light worker it starts with you once you have that love for yourself and are able to shine for yourself you're able to wake up other people like i said in one of my videos the other day you inspire people who pretend not to be noticing you pretend they don't see you but you're inspiring them. You know, you, d you don't need to be, um, have any magical gifts to be a light worker. It's to help somebody wake up. So everybody can do good in this world. When you're happy, you generally pass that on. You know, just smiling at people could make somebody feel so much better. I remember a day a um, long, long time ago, probably about 12 years ago, I was feeling really down and I was in a supermarket, a shopping centre, buying food. And I was in the queue and I was just like, oh, I feel so down and miserable and I've got nobody. Nobody cares in this world. Like, 
I used to watch the news all the time and I'd be like, why are we bombing countries? Why are we doing this and that? And it's so sad. It's so depressing. And people are walking past each other. They're not even smiling at each other. They're not even, you know, greeting each other. Hi, good morning, anything. And then this one person was a lady and she turned around and smiled at me. And she went, hi, I hope you're okay. Have a nice day. And I was like, wow, that taught me, didn't it? Because there is good in the world. So if I, because I was looking at the world from feeling sorry for myself and lack and with more doubt than faith, um, you know, with more anger than love, that's what I was seeing in my outer world because I'm a co-creator. You're a creator. You are co-creating your world. So if you're coming from that place of lack or anger or doubt, then that's what you're creating in your outside world. So I was, you know, seeing all the sadness because I was sad. I was seeing all the anger because I was angry. And yeah, I hope you get what I'm trying to say. I just hope that it could maybe click for somebody because maybe when you're seeing all these fancy YouTube videos and um, it can look unobtainable. And I don't want you to feel that way. I want you to know I'm just like you guys. I'm just on the same path as you guys, I'm on the same journey. I'm going through this journey. I'm making mistakes. I'm trying to learn from them. I'm trying to gain new perspectives. So you can take everybody's opinion in, but let them go. They're not facts. They're not a fact for you. What works for you will come from you. You know, the answer is within you. So you don't really need to think, well, she's got the answer or he's got the answer or where's the answer? Is it, you know, is it outside? I've been searching so many books and videos. It just starts within you. And it starts with learning to love yourself because then we can, you know, manifest that love. How can you love anybody else without loving yourself, without being kind to yourself? How can you really and truly forgive somebody else without forgiving yourself? for not knowing better or feeling like I should have known better at that time. I should have walked away from that guy years ago, that girl, she was abusive. I should have known better. No, don't beat yourself up about it. Forgive yourself, sit in that energy and say, it's gone. The past is the past. I've got so much good things in my life now. I forgive me for not knowing better at that time. And I love me and I'm proud of me. I'm so strong. I'm so healthy. I got through all these things. I made it out the other side a stronger person. That's what I want you to know. It's okay to make mistakes. Is it Steve Jobs? He said, fail quicker. Because then you get to success. I'm successful. <laughs> I am successful. I successfully raised my children, you know, um, which I'm very proud of. So I should be proud of it and I should love myself for it. Not just like, oh, I love my children. I mean, like if I asked you, who do you love? How many people would you go through before you got to yourself? Well, I love my kids. I love my mom. I love my family. I love this. Some of you would even say I love my job before I love myself. You know, and it's like you may feel like I'm trying to find my life purpose. I'm trying to manifest that into my life. Well, your life purpose is what makes you happy. So what is making you happy? What makes you happy? Maybe for a period of your life, your life purpose was to be a mum. 
and bring some other beautiful beings into this world to help raise the vibration of this world. Maybe a period of your life you was meant to be a cleaner or a doctor or a cab driver. And that made you happy. You got to interact with other people and maybe shine a light in their life. You don't even know. Maybe they got out of that taxi and they was like, oh, my God, I met the most amazing taxi driver. They were so funny. Or I met this amazing cleaner. She gave me the most amazing advice from life experience. At that time, it could have been your life purpose to be a cleaner and, you know, meet people and interact with them then. So your life purpose, there's not just one. Your first life purpose is to wake up. It's to come here and wake up. To raise the vibrations, to help other people wake up. So you don't just have one life purpose. You know, you're going to have many throughout your life and you're going to grow so much throughout your life. And that's a great thing. It's a great opportunity. And like I said, in every moment, our opportunities created for a desire to be born. Now you've got to take action and follow through with what you desire. Okay? You know, like God loves a trier. All these sort of sayings we've heard all our life. And we just think like, oh, you know, they're just saying that. That's what they say. But what if you actually tried and actually spoke on it? Yeah, like, I'm a YouTuber. This is my life purpose. Say that if you believe that. Say it with conviction. So if you want to be a YouTuber, upload a video. Like, people may say, well, how do you become a YouTuber? Upload a video. You don't need to watch one of their videos that go on and on and on and tell you, okay, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how to become a YouTuber. Upload a video. You want to be a blogger? Write whatever comes freely to you and upload it. Because I bet you there's people out there that will reach out to you and say, I'm going through that right now. I'm going through that right now. I don't know how many... Um, artists I've seen say I wrote a poem for example in 10th grade and it's touched nearly everybody across the world how is that possible I wrote it 20 years ago it made me feel good at the time and I wanted to manifest this abundance in my life and it came from this one thing you never know what it's going to come from you know, so the more you put restrictions on things like, um, well, I want my ex to come to the door with a big bunch of flowers. Then you're putting restrictions on the universe divine to create with you to co-create. So you're having a clash of ideas. So maybe the universe says, oh, I want your ex to come back to you on bended knee. Because you deserve this person to be fully committed. So I want them to come back to you and propose. But your lower self, your, in your outer body, your lower vibration will say, I want them to come back with flowers. And, you know, your higher self can't really shout as much as, you know, your outer being. Um, so you're like, well, it's... I did all the things and they're not coming back. They didn't bring me any flowers. So I'm just going to shout at this YouTuber on her channel with comments. Um, but yeah, this YouTuber chooses to keep the vibration high and try and help you some more. So it's up to you. It really has to start with you. I mean, other people can try and help you as much as you can. Another corny saying, you can leave a, lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink. So I can try and help guide you. But overall, it's got to come from you. 
and you've got to really change, you know, your energy. So before you worry about somebody coming back with flowers, you know, um, worry about you. I need to find happiness within me first. What makes me happy? Because I bet, I bet like nine out of 10 will not want their ex back after they are happy because then you'd start to see reasons um okay well they weren't that great in the first place or i see now why the divine brought that tower moment in and knocked our tower on its ass <laughs> um so yeah you know i see now from a higher perspective because my vibration's higher so yeah back to if your higher self is requesting that this person comes back to you on a higher vibration with a lot more commitment um, with a diamond ring, say, and say, you know, on bended knee. And you're like, no, I just want flowers. Um, you're putting blocks in the way. Because you are trying to put limits on the way that they come in for you. You give something very specific. OK, I want them to come on Tuesday with flowers. It's too specific. You know, if you set the desire, okay, I want this job to come into my life. I want to be the CEO of this company. You know, the desire is born. So then what we're going to do? What we're going to do with it? We're going to sit at home and wait for somebody to knock on your door and be like, hey, somebody wanted you to be CEO. Or are you going to start preparing yourself? And prepare for this abundance that's coming into your life. You can prepare for this job. Okay, what might I need to learn for this job? You know, I might need to move somewhere else to get this job. You know, be really committed. I'm going to be a CEO, so I need to get ready. I'm preparing for this abundance to come because it's coming regardless. Where am I going to put all this money? In this bank account with 43p? Well, I'll get a new bank account because it's going to have so much money in it. I'll need two. Maybe I'll need three. You know? So, like I say, guys, just me rambling, hoping that this can kind of help anybody. Um, just understand that when a seed's planted, you've got to allow it time to grow, to manifest for, a, you know, it to be ready to come to you. So you be ready when it gets here. Okay? If you even want to put it in simpler terms than that, if you want a boy or a girl to come into your life, prepare yourself. Do your makeup every day. Like, oh my God, I'm going to bump into them today. I want to look my best. If that's what you're into. Good luck, guys. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome.